Sanwanani. Guys, I think four hour load shedding is back in my area. Okay, so right now, okay, I've past seven. Ne? I, I didn't plan to wake up. Ne? I woke up because someone was calling me. And then I go and I check my app. And it says 8 to 12. To half past 12. I won't have electricity. First of all, I think that's the worst schedule. Especially if you work from home. That's the worst one to have. I, okay. Then I'm like, okay, let me... Let me wake up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have no choice. Let me wake up. I do have things to do. But, like, I wanted to have a slow morning. So that I have, like, you know... I wanted to do what I wanted to do. Basically. I started boiling water. I made my bed. Blah, blah, blah. I just had a min Like, I, I just had, like, a, a session. Or, like, five minutes when I was on the couch. Where I was like, wait, I don't want tea. Why am I boiling water? I wasn't ready to wake up. Why have I made the bed? Like, I don't... Like, now it's kind of got me, like, frazzled. But like, I don't have a choice. <laughs> I actually don't have a choice but to be frazzled. Because I won't have electricity for four hours okay fine that i wanted to record like a like a makeup tutorial situation i'm gonna need a light for that but i wanted to do that before i had to do what i need to do for my for a brand anyway good morning welcome to another weekly vlog today is tuesday That's how my brain feels. Like what I just did, that's exactly how my brain feels. Give me a minute, okay? Give me five minutes. Let me figure out what I want to do. And then we'll be back. Okay, I've made a decision. I am going to give the geezer as long as there is electricity to warm up. And then I'm going to like take a shower. And then after that, I'm going to do my makeup on camera. I hope the lighting makes sense. If not, honestly, it is what it is. If not, then I have to figure out another day to record the makeup but i have to do my makeup so that i can record or i can just do a tiktok version of what i want to do on camera because i can't necessarily record makeup with lighting this yellow like you won't be able to see anything because obviously i can't rely on a ring light right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to record my makeup maybe for a tiktok good morning hi hey you anyway Kenzo, Kenzo doesn't want to greet you guys. Come here, come here. He has a ball in his mouth. I told you to be careful. Please be careful with that ball, Kenzo.
styles. Just so I can feel like a real person. <laughs> Where is my lip gloss? I don't know which fragrance I want to wear today. Yesterday, I can't find any lip gloss in this house that I want to use. So I guess Elizabeth Arden it is. I have no idea where my Maybelline went and I have it this morning. Oh shit, I did too much. Ah. Anyway, yesterday, um, this is what I smelled like. Remember guys, I showed you guys this when I got it, Najum Gold. This was really good. Like I would catch myself like while editing. I was in the house as well. Like I was having a day pretty similar to today. Um, I would just catch myself smelling so good. Um, like during the day but today i think english pen freesia will be really good so i'm gonna wear this not too much i don't have to do too much in the house but i do like to smell good even when i'm just chilling here i'm not chilling i'm working but oh it smells so clean now i associate the scent with the shower because i had the shower oil first so to me, it just smells really fresh and clean. Um, I don't have any electricity right now, so that means I can't use the diffuser that Benini uh, gifted me if you watched my last vlog. So what I'm going to do is with this diffuser that I got from Upmarket Sense, this you charge and then like it's cordless. So in here, I have Killian Love Don't Be Shy. And when I got the package, when I got the diffuser, they gave me two of these bottles, these refill bottles. So what I'm going to do, oh no, now I need to clean this out. Or will it just clean itself out? Because I really don't feel like doing that. Anyway, um, with the other refill bottle, the empty one, I'm going to drop some of that Benini aroma oil because it smells divine. This is not for sale. I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out of this because it's so good. It literally says, it literally says, Benini Aroma Oil, not for sale. Not of commercial value, girl. I don't know what you're going to have to do, but it needs some sort of <laughs> commercial value. It smells so good. So I'm taking the refill bottle from Upmarket Scents and I'm taking the Aroma Oil from Benini. And I am going to squeeze some in here because I want the house to smell like something but I don't have oh it smells so good I don't have any electricity for the actual big diffuser that they that Benini sent me I actually don't even need to fill this thing to the top because the Killian one lasted so long and I didn't the bottle wasn't full the refill bottle wasn't full so i'm gonna take this screw it onto here nice and tight pop it into the upmarket scent diffuser long hold and there we go nice okay I just need a little cuticle oil. I want to start getting, like I want to get started now. I don't know if I'm hungry. I need to drink water. Have you drank your water today? My cuticles were so dry yesterday. It's like what's going on? Also cuticle oil really helps when your nails start growing out. Like when they're not freshly, freshly done anymore. They just grow out much neater. They don't look super, super ghetto. Like, they look really nice. Oh my gosh, guys. Let's talk my body lotion. <sighs> no. Okay. So, if you watched the other vlog, you saw I went to the La Roche Posay event. And they gave us a goodie bag. I, have, I don't think I went through that goodie bag with you guys. I don't know. Okay, because I went to so many events last week, so it would make sense if I did not go through that uh, goodie bag. But the one thing that they gave me was the Lipica Balm. Now, Lipica, 
is the range that they make for eczema prone skin so this is how it looks if you want to screenshot if your skin is just dry it's just dry baby like you don't get why I used to have eczema, I used to have it when I was a teenager, I used to flare up and everything. I genuinely think that I had a flare up recently um, and like it, it, just, uh, it was just out of the blue that I got it and I haven't had it in years so I wasn't really expecting it but then I went to that event and I was a mid flare up at that event and they gave me that lotion but they also gave me an ointment and i rubbed that on my legs and i think i went to, i went to the event on thursday by sunday that flare-up was damn near gone like today's tuesday and i i don't have it you know but the balm the one that you get that, that squeeze one that i just showed you girl look at my body look at my body like you if you if you if you follow this channel you know that one thing about me i love grease i like balm i like shine i like moisture i don't want to put a lotion on and it's like i'm spreading ash around me like ashiness and i'm just getting drier and drier i don't like when lotions do that i want this is what i want so i just want to come here and tell you that um that Lipica Balm is fire if you've got dry skin but you love looking hydrated, yeah, that Lipica Balm is it. Okay guys, let me drink some water. Okay, you might as well just spend the whole day working with me. The first thing that I have to do is record my makeup. I want to just make a TikTok about my super simple makeup routine. I'm not gonna put a lot of makeup on because um, the thing that I'm shooting doesn't need a lot of makeup, but I am going to be shooting it in the bathroom for the lights. And also just cause this is the best place to do your makeup. So I'm gonna put my So my tripod is there, I'm gonna put my phone there, then I'm gonna put my mirror there and I'm going to bring my makeup in here. I love how convenient this thing is. I got it on Take A Lot. Um, every time I show it, people ask. So yeah, got this thing on Take A Lot. Literally, maybe the month I moved in here. So I'm not too sure if they still got it. But yeah, that's where I got it. So I'm just gonna keep it here. And then I'll take my mirror. I'm gonna record with my back camera. Just think it'll look better. I'm gonna start doing my makeup tutorials right here. Like <laughs> So yeah, I'm using my mirror to see my self, but oh my goodness. <laughs> Gagging. But yeah, let me get started because I don't want the sun to run away. It's not in the most favorable position, but you know I actually want to do the video that I'm doing for TikTok on YouTube um I guess I guess now that I know how good the lighting is here even on film I feel like this would also be you guys would be okay with this lighting right for a makeup tutorial I just feel like it's a bit orange for YouTube but on there it looks amazing but anyway um now i have to mix foundations because it's not winter anymore so maybe a little more lancome where am i in my lancome shade here i think <laughs> so i'm done with my makeup and everything but um for the video that i want to shoot obviously like the front of my hair a braid came out so i want to fix that and i don't know how to braid like i don't know how to braid talk less of knowing how to start a twist i don't know how to do that um So I'm just gonna figure it out. I'm, I'm thinking about just splitting it and then just starting the twist. 
I have no idea. Like this, I mean, no. I'm just, okay. Maybe I'm going to just take it, wrap it around. Oh, I know how to do a three. So I'm gonna start it as a three. And then I'm just gonna continue it as a twist. It's obviously not, like look at how loose that is. But I just need it on my head. It's <laughs> but it's on. No, it's not. Okay. I'm gonna try to do it tighter this time. But the only way I know how to attach it is if I start it as a three strand. Three, 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 three. Attach it to one, then twist. That's the only way I know how to do it. It will come out. I'm already expecting that it will come out, but I just at least need it on for this video. I'm so tired. Like, I'm already so tired. I think it's because I didn't eat. I'm hungry. But I just want to finish this video. Like, oh, the video that I'm about to record has been stressing me. Also, this hair, man. Look how long that shit is. I'm gonna cut it. Like, I'm gonna cut it because. Yeah, I don't have time for this. I forgot because I haven't done a twist, right? Because this is like the first year that I'm actually like taking time to braid my hair. But I haven't done a twist hairstyle in a very long time and I forgot how loose twists are so now i'm even scared to put too much oils and stuff in my hair because clearly since that one came out there's a there's another one in the back that's kind of loose but it's not like crazy and now i know that i don't want to put too much oil in my hair so what i've been doing is I've just been using the Mizani Miracle Length just a little bit. Honestly, what I should be using is the Dark and Lovely Braid Spray. This is less slippery than this, but for this video, I'm going to have to use Mizani because that's it, just makes sense. Um, so I can't use like the Miracle Oil because that's a no no. I think what I'm going to do is also just use the Miracle Length or yeah I'm going to use the Miracle Length for my video but in real life I've just been using my Rosemary Water because my hair is dry so it needs some sort of water I can't just put oils and oils and oils on top of it even with um, braid spray like mainly like it's oils and stuff so my hair needs some sort of water without me having to wash it so I've just been using some rosemary water. But yeah, for the video, I think I'm just going to use those two. And then I'm going to use the got to be to lay my, my edges. So yeah, I'm just trying not to make my hair too slippery. Truly, like I'm trying not to make my hair too slippery because I want this hair to last. But it has been a little dry because I can't like put everything that I want to put on it, you know? But yeah, okay, let me finish, let me finish. I'm hungry. So I finally made breakfast. Um, I'm actually recording a what I eat in a day today. I think it's a perfect day to record this. So I'm doing it right now. I'm trying to get serious about the during the week videos. <laughs> The idea is for them to not be vlogs. The fact that there's no electricity and I don't have anything to watch reminded me. Like it made me look at my flowers. I need to take them outside. Mm. I want to show you guys. They're so pretty. They're also so spring. Take. Why are you popa? Take. You came here for it, you know. You even licking your lips. Take.
content creation is hilarious. It's time to take off my makeup. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it now. Cause I wanna lay on my couch. I don't wanna get my pillows dirty. Let's just do it, honestly. I still haven't finished these terrible ass wipes. The electricity is still not back, girl. So, that's actually another excuse as to why I'm just doing this now. So, I have these from Kiamo. If you didn't know, she has a business where she's selling these cuffs, these wristbands for when you wash your face at the sink or at the basin, you just put them on your arms. And yeah, I feel like I didn't take my eyeliner off enough, but I'll do it now. So yeah. I will put the link in the description box to her Yaga. If you guys know what Yaga is, it's that like you can sell on there. So she has a store on Yaga. So yeah, she's got a store on Yaga. I got the grey ones. Um, so and these are the ones I got. And I'm about to wash my face. I'm just washing my face again. Truth be told, no matter how little the makeup you put on your face is you definitely need to double cleanse and obviously double cleansing doesn't just mean using two cleansers you can just wash your face twice also but which is what I just did I just washed my face two times but yeah makeup girl you have to make sure makeup is off of your face like properly and I also make sure to just wash the edge stuff off of my hairline. I have a situation that I need to attend. I've got this situation. I'm attending it. <laughs> kind of have PTSD from this dark mark. But that, I gotta get her before she gets me. <laughs> so I'm going to use this. This is the clear out spot treatment. So I'm not gonna shake it or anything. So I'm going to take an earbud, I'm going to open it up, I'm going to make sure that I don't shake it. I need to make sure that it stays the way it is. So let me show you, I think you can tell that it's separated. Like look at that, so the oils or whatever is at the top and then the, what I'm looking for is at the bottom. So I'm going to go in with an earbud and touch the bottom and come out with the solution that I'm looking for. Let me tap it a little bit because this pimple is not big. And then I'm just going to put that directly on there. And then I'm going to let that dry. Literally, that's it. So, yeah, you know, you got to get to it while it's early before you have a consequence of not doing your skincare. Of not doing your skincare properly, but yeah, that's how it is. It's called the if you're looking for it, it's called the Clear Out Lotion. It's a targeted blemish lotion by Clarence. So I'm sure you can get it on like Superbless or something, but yeah. I'm your dream come true, and I wonder if you know.
And I wonder if you know what you mean. been procrastinating getting to work I have things to let me sit down <laughs> let me sit down I've been procrastinating doing like my editing I'm sure my thing is even fully charged okay let's open a package that came today I believe it's from L'Oreal oh no it's from Kiehl's come on what's this Ooh, Kiehl's. I've been using their hyaluronic acid for a while now. Let's see what they sent me. I think I have. No, I don't. What is this? Ooh, a retinal fast release wrinkle reducing night serum. Let me see. Mmm, they sent me two things. So this is the first. This is the Retinol Fast Release Wrinkle Reducing Night Serum Activated with Pure Retinol Infused Powder I have their normal retinol Oop! Is this the powder? How do you use it? Okay, now I need to look up a tutorial It's a powder capsule in here How do the capsules look? Okay, I don't want to open open this E1. Do I take this and put it in here? This is the actual serum. Okay, I'm going to have to read the instructions because it's like this. And then more. I think here you pump it. Yeah, I can see the gel in here. Okay, I'm I'm gonna have to <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure it out. I'll probably make a TikTok though when I do figure out what's going on. But yeah, I need to start getting more serious about retinol. I'm not as up to par as I need to be. And then they sent me some sunscreen. This is called the Ultra Light Daily Defense SPF 50. Let's see how it looks. Nice. Thank you, Kiehl's. I have so much sunscreen now. Because I got sunscreen last week. I bought a sunscreen from Nivea the other week. So I'm good. Okay, guys. So we're going to start off at Crazy Store. I am currently running errands. So let's just do like a quick shop with me. Tomorrow's Kenzo's birthday, but he also like does need actual real things Like he needs some poo bags. I always get them here because Wait, they're 50 Rand now. Weren't they like 30? But still 50 is so much better than most places and These are the ones that I get. He does also need treats um, Should we try a different one? A biscuit. He normally doesn't finish biscuits though but I guess just to be different, you know. Let's get him something different. Okay, let's get him these. Yeah, let's get these. Here is something I will never need to buy anymore. He's such a big boy. I actually really do need these. But what's a good price? These are 50. I think this is the same one. These are 50. These are 30. Oh, it's only one here. Let me get these. I actually do need new things. Crazy store is where I get my 
grooming gloves because they're like 35 rand lol um the delicious just went out oh wait how much were they there 50 oh these are face cloths oh these are face cloths they're not nice but 44 rand is actually one of the best prices i've seen anyway um yeah 35 rand for one pair of these i'm gonna get them because i need new ones i would i truly would but they're all white and that's just disastrous look at this little one but he i need to find his present today like it has to be today i'm trying to look for a party hat that will fit him but they've got like these big big ones and like this damn why do they have these instead of just normal ones Um, I'm at Westpac right now for everyone who keeps asking where my mop is or where my mop is from this is it this is what it's called it's the spinner dry mop by Addis and that's how the box looks and this is it so yeah I found it at Westpac by the way I got mine at uh, Leroy Merlin that's where I got mine Willie's always has such nice stuff. I mean, I'm not into the gold utensil thing, but it's cute though. Oh, these are cute. Look at those. <gasps> oh my goodness. I'm actually looking for coasters, but I actually want to get white coasters this time. I keep getting like a brown and I keep not liking it. So I want to get white this time. What are these? Are these for like espressos? That's nice. Oh, look, there's black. This doesn't look nice, but there is black coasters. Okay. I keep saying this, like, I wish I was a black, you know, like, lover of like decor that's black. I'm just not. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, it just doesn't talk to me at all. Yeah, they've got black dishes if you guys are into black dishes. The bowls are like a hundred, you know, not bad. These are stunning. This is so pretty. So nice. Ooh, are these like plates? Like those plates that are kind of like bowls? Yeah, this is a plate. How much is it? 99 for one blade it's cute i don't need a blade but these are so cute i wish i saw this before i got my square ones but look at that shape like this is so cute how much is each oh it doesn't have a doesn't have a price but i wish i saw those before i took my my square ones that i got from at home i think i would have liked those more is this the whiskey glass that I was obsessed with? Can't be. Doesn't look like it. Oh, yeah. You know what I do need? A cute little glass like this to make my own cocktails. I have a lot of flutes. I don't have like a margarita glass, a martini glass. I wish I had a little bit of those. What the hell is this? Oh, it's a cocktail glass. Interesting. Not into that. This cup. Tea season is almost over. I wish I saw this like when it was cold. This is stunning. Guys. This is so beautiful. Yo, this is pretty. But I need to be looking for like 
martini glasses and stuff because it's about to be summer oh here's the whiskey glass that i've been obsessed with this is a nice whiskey glass i think sabelo has it i think i've seen it on one of his reels so cute they've got a lot of cups but i'm looking for like cute martini cocktail glasses like these aren't cute like that's not cute i think these are the ones i have but again this is a wine glass i keep getting like wine glasses and flutes and stuff but i need like small cocktail glasses <gasps> i don't know what the hell i'd use this for but bro are you kidding me this literally looks like my house <laughs> literally again it's not tea season but these are so cute I need to get people things for their apartments. I actually hate being a minimalist. Like I can't buy a lot of things because I'm just like, where am I gonna put it? Oh my gosh. I already have lamps, but these are a thousand rand each. Those are cool. Point 1.5 morning everyone what is up today is friday the 8th just got a delivery and i need to show it to you because this is for an event next week and honestly nobody beats yellow sub trading when it comes to their delivery if you need something quick and you don't have time to go anywhere to go look for nothing yellow sub trading and superb list are the places to go okay okay it's the right color so joe malone is having a tea party tea high tea next week and i did not have the kind of dress that i needed for that event i'm not gonna try this on but okay it's large okay i'm not gonna try this on but i just want to look at it see it because i did get a large just in case and i'm glad that it came early because if the large is too big i can go get it lifted and tucked but i also don't want it to be skin tight you feel me it is so long <gasps> it is so long it's gonna be so cute it is so long. I'm so happy with the fact that it's long, dude. <gasps> is a large gonna be too big? Or is it gonna be like that perfect flowy vibe? Oh my god, this dress is beautiful. <laughs> this dress is stunning. It's got like a little ruffle on the side. Oh my goodness. This is really cute. Let me come a little closer to the... I don't know which shoes I'm going to wear. But the fact that it's so long is honestly my favorite thing. I don't know if it's going to be too big. I don't want to try it on right now, but I should try it on. Oh, stunning. Dude, ah, oh, the length, killing me, I love it. I wanna do like a gold heel, do like a gold little clutch. Ah, oh, stunning, so perfect for the high tea.
Ew. Is it not the next week? <laughs> Is it not the next week? Literally. Hey, hey, hey. I first of all, I just realized that it wasn't working. I was trying to be super prepared and all of that to where I was vlogging the week before the week the vlog goes up, right? So I was a vlog ahead basically. But I just noticed that I couldn't do it because when you're vlogging and when you're editing a different vlog, when you get back on the vlog to like, you know, talk to the camera, it's like a completely different vibe. Like you forget the vibe that you were on. Now you're thinking about the the vibe of the vlog that you were editing. The content creators will know what I'm talking about. Like it's just it just worked better for me to vlog the week that I was uploading. Also, because I literally every single day I edit just a little bit of the vlog. So I kind of understand what's going on with the vlog. Now when I wasn't doing that, I just completely forgot. Like I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I tried to be ahead of the game. I tried to do that, but it just creatively it didn't make sense. Another thing is obviously elephant in the room, Alicia. Mkize is in the building. Why, Alicia? Why are you here? Girl, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Those passion twists were sliding out. Like my hair just couldn't grip on. I don't I don't know what it was. It was the way that they were braided onto my head. It just for how young in age, you know, in time that I had it on my head, it was just not looking a week old. Like it was looking older than that. So I decided to go back to basics, okay? And I just got some braids, but I kind of remixed it because in the front, I have like a little bit of a corner situation, then it goes into braids. So yeah, okay, this is officially my hair now um i don't know what the hell was going on with those passion twists but i had to get out of there like i had to get out of there because I, I didn't even feel pretty at some point like i didn't feel pretty because like why do they look like that like it was just so let's forget that even happened um and let's move on to i wonder if i'm gonna be able to carry it yeah i will take a lot Take a lot of packages. There's even another one on the floor. So yeah, let's do an unboxing of my take a lot packages. Let me take a picture quickly for my thumbnail and then we'll unbox everything when we sit on the floor. I wanna sit on the floor for this. And yeah, let's do that. I wanna start with this. This is lighter than I expected it to be. I don't know if you can see in the picture. Let me bring it close to you. But this is what is in here. Girl, I have no idea if they're focused. <coughs> no clue. Um, okay. It wasn't the last vlog, it was the vlog before that. I was talking about how there's candy. I was talking about how there's one more thing that I'm waiting for before I hang things on the wall. This is that thing, but today I tried to go print more of the prints that are supposed to go in my lounge and the electricity left, so then PostNet couldn't print it for me. So. Now that's another thing that I have to wait for first, but also I still need to go to Mr. Price home anyway. So yeah, the lounge, girl, come on. But anyway, um, at least this is here. So again, I will have all links to everything below. I don't want to take it out, but I want to show you guys. And I want to see it. Oh my God, it's perfect. It's a clock. It's a big clock. 
flock. Okay, that's the back. Here's the front. Should I take this? Let me take this off. Mm -hmm. Ah, they're the hands of the clock in this thing. Isn't it stunning? It's beautiful. Guys, it's so perfect. It's exactly, like, exactly what I wanted. There's batteries at the back, right here. It's so cute. Let's just put that here because I can't take it out anyway. I'm not going to have any to put it yet. So it's just going to stay in the box. I'm also doing this unboxing so that I can see also, you know. Braids are long, baby. Down the back, all the way to the crack. Okay, well, these aren't all the way to the crack. I mean, they graze the crack quite slightly. Maybe they're in the middle of the crack when I stand up, but you know. They're not as long as those other braids that I had. Now, those braids were really long. And my uh, cornrows, those were really long. These, I feel like, are, they're good. I wouldn't go shorter than this. I feel like I'm one of those super long braid girls. Like, you know those girls that like braids all the way to their knees? I kind of understand that. I wouldn't do it personally, but I get it. Like, if you're a really long braid girl, like, I love a, I love a mid thigh. I love a mid thigh. Yeah. So the rest of this haul is basically going to be random stuff that I've been wanting on Take a Lot, but the fact that I needed that clock is kind of why I pressed check out. Um, so yeah, that, it wasn't enough for me to just want these things. I also needed like something real, so that was the clock. Um, but I have other things that I really wanted because I don't like buying like just a little bit of stuff from Take A Lot. I like buying a lot of things. So yeah, I like having a big haul from them. Anyway, my Bible is here. This is going to be the first Bible I have. Um, this is an NIV. So yeah, this is the Bible that I wanted. It's really cute. Um, it's like white with gold lettering it's an niv um which if you are a christian you know like that's not like the best for you to get um it's just niv is very readable so i wanted an niv i'm going to get a kjv and then i'm also gonna get an now I'm forgetting the, the word. When I was looking for, it's called an apocrypha. Um, and when I was looking for it, I was doing Bible study on my TV. I, I had no access to my phone because it was seven. So I had like switched off my phone. Um, and I went on take a lot, but on my laptop and I found it, but I didn't add it to like my wish list or anything. So I didn't know what it was or I didn't know where I found it, but it is called an apocrypha. And it's like 225 Rand on Take A Lot. Yeah, I wanted a Apocrypha and it's in the King James ver in the King James version. And then I also want another Bible, which is obviously gonna be my King James version. So when I'm doing um when I'm doing a Bible study, I plan to have like my NIV open just for readability and just you know quickly understanding and grasping the context of the verse but i also want what it originally says in the kjv and then for other passages and just when i'm doing other bible studies and watch other sermons and all of that different stuff then i've got the apocrypha on me especially when i watch people that reference the apocrypha so yeah that is what i got i got the holy bible let me open it and see because people in the comments um because you know one thing about me i will always stand take a lot for those reviews like those reviews are honestly why take a lot does so well guys like yo oh stunning it's so pretty look how pretty that is it's like gold and white it's so mean pretty standard Ooh, look at the inside Ooh. Cute. Kind of what does it mean when um, the words in the Bible are written in red? 
It means Jesus said them, right? Okay. Got myself my first big girl Bible. I don't know why I went with white leather, but I guess you can wipe it, right? And honestly, if it does get a little dirty, that means it gets used. So, <laughs> I don't mind. Anyway, next up, we've got this. So these are, now I'm getting into the kitchen gadgets that I really wanted. This is my popcorn maker, and I'm gonna use it tonight because hello yeah this is the ultra silicone popcorn maker with a lid so it's basically like this this is the lid and then you pop it open um and i guess you put this in here but what do you like what do you put it in the micro do you put it in the microwave I think you just put your popcorn kernels in here, put it like that, and then just put it in the microwave. I think I'll look on, I'll look on, um, take a lot to see. Girl, I hope it's fine. I like that you can like squish it for, you know, storage. Let's get into the next. This is a little bit of a bigger box. Let's see what we have in here. I almost burnt one of my pots with like trying to make popcorn on the stove, and it's just not. Who wants to have to use a, like a whole pot and with the oil and all that? I, I, I didn't like that, so yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, so this is a fruit and veggie spray. This I'm going to use to wash my veggies. Yeah, literally the fruit, the, the directions say, place fruit or veg in a colander and spray generously, ensuring that the entire surface area is covered. Allow to stand for like five minutes, then rinse, eat, you know, have fun with it. I've wanted something that will properly get just the stuff, you know, the stuff. And I'll show you where I'll be washing my, my, my veg and stuff in. I was like, what the hell is this? This is, this is an adapter for a microphone. My boyfriend gave me a microphone to use for like voiceovers and stuff like that, especially when I've got campaigns and I'm recording voiceovers for those TikToks and stuff, even just like my regular TikToks. But I don't have that, that jack or that port in my phone. So I got an adapter. And this is simply how it looks. Nothing too crazy. Um, goes in my phone and then this will accept the, the pin for the actual mic. So then I can just use it. And yeah, like super amazing. I think this was 90 Rand. So yeah, this was really great. Like I said, if you want anything, it will be in the description box. Guys, guys, this is something I've been waiting for for far too long. I don't know if you are anything like me, but I really think that people that are good at making rice, any kind of rice, if you can make basmati and you can make bonnet rice and you can make that, 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 if you can make rice from scratch and it comes out perfect every time, you are quite literally God's favorite. Like, wow, like, wow, like. <laughs> If you know how to do that, like shout out to you girl because I certainly do not. So I got myself a rice maker. And you can use it for steaming anything else really. Okay, so this is it. And it's a four piece. So it's supposed to come with the actual lid, the actual body of the thing, a cup and a spoon. Let's see. Let's see. So this is how it looks. Kind of take these down. There we go. Um, obviously, I will still need to read instructions and stuff, but there's our measuring spoon. Ooh. Ooh. That's always been washed. Okay. Here is our little spoon for the rice. Now I'm trying to see are the instructions on this pamphlet yeah i don't know oh this is called the rice paddle 
So you've got the rice panel, the cup, the inner lid, inner lid, and the normal lid. Oh, it goes upside down. Inner lid, cover, and then there you go. Let's see if we have any instructions or if this is just a go read the reviews type of thing. Yep, it is a go read the reviews type of thing. Okay, thank you. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. Because I'm so tired of acting like Superman. There's nothing worse than terrible rice. Like, nothing. This is our last package. I'm so tired of acting tough. I'm so tired of I literally, ever since I put in this order, I have not made rice. It's been me and baby potatoes because I'm so tired of acting tough. Like, no matter how well you follow the instructions, it's just never, it just, okay, okay. So, this is an onion chopper. Well, I guess not onion, wait, what? they gave me a pink one. I really fucking hope it's not pink. They have pink. Why? Why would you guys give me a pink one? And there was no option of like pink white or what is this? Bluish, blackish green. Man. Anyway, this is something I really wanted, so I'm actually not going to complain. I'm just, I'm literally not a pink girl, like. I'm more of a purple girl than anything really, but it's this onion chopper, this one. So I'm really excited about this. Dude, you could have just given me the white. <laughs> like green, like pink is crazy. But yeah, this is basically it. It has this blade inside and when you pull it around, you can just like properly chop up some onion and chop up anything else really if an onion can get in here girl anything else can and you just hmm. it's called a speedy chopper so yeah you can put peppers in here you can put anything you can put uh, garlic yeah simple operation easy cleaning and you can choose how chopped you want something so here goes my pink onion chopper. This is highly disturbing, but... But anyway, I have no right to complain because this I knew was gonna come and it was gonna be green. But this I needed so bad and Take Lot's the only place that had a really good deal on it. But I found a salad spinner because when you finish rinsing and you know when i'm done rinsing and cleaning up my fruits and vegetables i want a place to actually kind of dry them i know that you can pet them and stuff but like ew um and i also just don't want to eat a soggy salad you know a wet salad i want my ingredients to be clean but also to be semi-dry um just so that i'm not like you know dripping and stuff so so yeah, this is how it looks. Let's get the salad spinner out of here. So this is it at the back of the box. So it has a lot of parts. It has a lot of parts. I saw online that it has a lot of parts, but this is basically the bottom. Right, when I get, I mean, it's supposed to, this green thing is supposed to spin and then the water is supposed to come into this big bowl so that you can just pull this out and you've got your dry ingredients well semi-dry ingredients and then we've got the top over here oh okay so this is attached okay that's good that's very good so it goes like this and stick it onto here oh okay and then yeah. Ooh. Try to not break anything. Yeah. So you've got, uh, let's just imagine that before I put it in, before I put the top on, I put some veggies in there and then I just do this. And I spin. Okay, 
okay, my hand. And I spin my salad. So, you know, I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm very excited for this. But yeah, I'm gonna need to wash all of these dishes now. But guys, I'm so happy. Um, yeah, it's just like new kitchen gadgets that I can play around with. I can make myself some popcorn right now. Um, I do think I wanna go buy like salt and vinegar, uh, seasoning and stuff like that, like butter and stuff. So I can make my own stir chemical popcorn in the house. <laughs> I'm so thirsty. Oh, always so thirsty. I literally stood, I stood up and turned around and saw my clock. Morning. Well, afternoon, it's like half past 12. Hi guys. Um, just checking in to show you my outfit. I am on the way to Santin. I have to go to the Levi's store. And then I guess afterwards I can look around for a bit, but I also want to go visit my friend afterwards. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go to her house. Then I'm just gonna come back and edit and stuff. But I just threw on something for like a cute little errand look. I've got this crossbody situation from H&M. The coat is also from H&M because it's cold outside. It's weird that it's cold outside, but it's cold outside. This top is from Supra. These pants are from Supra and then these are Nike. Um, the top and the pants I got on Superblist. I also got the... Um, I actually got everything on Superblist, just different brands. Um, but yeah. That's how I'm looking. I actually even forgot to come and update the vlog because I had planned to go to Santin and vlog on my phone. Because I just don't have time for Wahala, honestly. I don't have time for... I don't have time for security guard Wahala because they don't like the camera at all. So, here, Santin City. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna vlog on my actual phone. I really wanna go to Scarlet Hill um, because I need lip gloss. Like, that lip gloss is so good. I need lip gloss, so I'm gonna go and buy a few of them at. Scarlet Hill and then we'll see what else we get up to but I do want to be back home Top is 12 now Before 4 maybe even 3 um, This is including me going to go visit my friend. So let's go. We'll vlog on my phone and Yeah, let's do that able to talk properly in the actual place because they're playing copyrighted music but um, I've got two jeans here um, I have one style but two sizes it's the 720 high-rise super skinny jean it's got hyper stretch so that's kind of gonna influence the size that I end up getting but let's try this on I want a simple black jean so yeah See, this is why the curvy range exists because this is from the 720 range. I just like the fact that it was a simple black jean, but I'm gonna have to go to the curvy section because that gaping, I'm not gonna be able to handle that. So, yeah, let's go. Let's go to the curvy section and. There's the difference, ladies and gentlemen. These are the curvies. No gapping in the back. They sit really nicely. Let me show you properly. My hair also, I don't want you to get confused as to what's my hair, what's the jean. Because my hair's black. But yeah, let me move it. Ah, the inches, it's on. But yeah, 
There we go. That is how. So I don't need to take these to a tailor or anything. These are high rise. Um, these are not high waisted. So I think they're okay. Like I like high high waisted like jeans. I like really high waisted jeans. But I think these are fine. They cover my belly button, which is all I really need. And yeah. These are nice. So these are the oh, I have another size here on the floor. These are the curvy high rise super skinny. And I've got the black. Also, these are so nice and comfortable. I didn't want anything with rips. I'm not a fan of like too many rips or anything like that. So I was like, okay, no. Let me phase out the rips in my wardrobe. Let me not even get one that has any sort of distressing. So yeah, these are really comfortable. Like, I really like these. And I feel comfortable. Um, yeah, I, I love the fact that these are just plain, they're black, I don't have a black jean. I think these are going to go really well with like my nude pieces because I love nude and black together. So yeah, I think next let's go to H&M and look for a top for this jean. I think that would be really cute for us to just go shopping for a new top. You know, I've been saying like my one thing about my wardrobe is I don't have enough tops. So now that I've got a new pair of bottoms, let's go get a cute little top, a little summer top, maybe to summerfy this jean. Cause it's a black jean, you know, black jeans normally, you can wear them a lot in winter, but I want to summerfy this jean. Cause I want the black jean. Like I don't want to go get a blue one. Um, I think with a pair of black heels maybe for like a cute girls dinner yeah that's the inspo that's the vibe the vibe for the outfit we're creating today is like a girls night out like with heels black pants like a cute top i'm actually gonna even wear it on sunday because i'm seeing homo limo so yeah Dude, I haven't been rating dad sandals like at all. Like I did, I had, I didn't care. But these, how much are they? I haven't even. I don't know what I'd wear this. Way. That's why I think I haven't been looking at dad sandals. Cause how much? Like, what would I wear this with? But how cute are these? These are so cute. You, I'm the one. in my wardrobe so this is nice and like full length with the black jean and i found a bag let me show you the handbag that i found um i'm just gonna have to take this strap off let me try hide it wait so it's not one of those straps that you can you know just unclamp so i'm actually going to have to manually take it out but anyway this is the bag super chill like it's just a it's a black bag you know and I've been needing just a black bag. I've got the Galax Boy bag, but it has that like logo on it. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that anymore. So yeah, um, I like this bag because it's so, you'll see it properly when the chain is off, but it's just a chill, kind of a hobo bag. Very chill, slouchy. I think it's gonna go so well with a black jean and a black heel, makeup done. 
studs, like smelling good. Um, like I told you guys, I'm going out on Sunday, so this is actually a real outfit. <laughs> it's a real outfit that I'm shopping for, so I think it's so cute. I love the black and white. Don't need a bra. I think it's so cute. I did also take this top, but now that I put this one on, I know that I know. <laughs> this is the one. It's so cute. Okay. Let me get out of this loud place. My goodness, like the copyrighted music. No, let me go. <laughs> Um, let me come closer so I can show you. Let me come closer so I can show you these earrings, girl. Yeah. Yeah, period. So, yeah. This is my outfit. It is six minutes till three. Do I have a power bank? Yes, I just don't have a big enough bag. Are you ready? I'm about to request. Yeah. Uh, the dress is long, girl. The dress is long, but the dress is giving tea party, high tea. The, the dress is giving, okay? I just have to be very careful about where I step. Need to get my pictures in as early as possible. But yeah, I am taking this really small teeny weeny bag, but it, it just... It had to happen. It had to. I'm about to leave. This is what the dress is giving, guys. For scent, we are going to a Joe Malone uh, event. And it looks a bit warm outside, so I'm just going to go in with Nectarine, my fave. Um, let me actually re-up. I might re-up when I get there, but for now. I wanted to put, like, glowy stuff, like an oil on my body. But I'm so scared that it will transfer onto the dress, so I just do a little, a little bit, you know, like the tiniest bit. Okay, I am ready to go. I am ready to go. My phone is on 100%. Hurrying, hurrying, hurrying. Let's go. I'm so excited. Like, it's crazy the things that God is, like, doing. Because I would have never thought that I would be on my way to hang out with the Joe Malone team ever. Cheer you look so cute. Hey, how are you? Hey Joe. Oh, what do you Sam Shanko Sam? Sambona. Sambona. Oh. So I didn't take the those long heels I was Yeah, like, no. Oh, no. It was the safer bit. I was like, I don't know. No, I, honestly. I'll, I'll go back to hospital. 100%. <laughs> and. I just need us to get there, and when we get there, the sun needs to go down a bit. <laughs> so we can see. Nice. Just also so that I don't sweat through this dress. Exactly. Dead. Exactly. Like, like I'm not ready to sweat through this dress, please. I was like, yo, I can't even take. I didn't even take my like my perfume. I was like, oh, that's fine. I took um next week. What are you wearing? Uh, the thing. Oh, oh, gray. Oh, okay. I'm wearing nectarine. I was like, 
Yeah, I just, I'm just gonna just say. Honestly, I'll, me forget like, I get it. You know what? Yeah, it's not because I don't want to care. Maria last thing, she's okay. No, 100%. Yeah. Like, okay. Nectarine is a bit light. So I had to take You know what's thing. light? And I was so disappointed. Why? Remember Ebony Wood from Zara? Yes, yes, yes. So I actually got it from London because I was like, guys, oh, South yes. Africa doesn't yeah, stop. Yeah. But then I tried the wood. What is it called? Something wood Wood sage and sea salt. Yes. It doesn't last. The lightest thing you'll ever see. Wood sage and sea salt. It doesn't. doesn't even have a scent. I was like, what am I smelling? Mm -hmm. I remember I had the little sample of it. I was like, mm -mm, "This is not. It's odd. gone. No, this is not odd." And I it's thought, gone. Like, "It smells like ebony wood." It doesn't ebony smell wood, like ebony wood. Ebony wood smells amazing. Yeah, like it smells amazing. So I'm like, "Okay, fine. At least Joe Malone has." Yeah. Oh. And I was like, "Thank God the weather said." Is Hi. Let's song pearl. We said hi tea for the girls. For the girls. <sighs> Guys, it's positive at December. It's for, from now on. Honestly. From like, now until indefinitely. Until further notice. Like, from <laughs> Like, for real. <laughs> I know dear, we're going to be having champagne. Yes, yeah, 100%. No, dude, for me, it's this heat coming out of no way but it's solid because yesterday we were complaining about how we're gonna be cold i wanted it to be a bit nippy just so that the boob sweat doesn't boob sweat yeah 100 and i'm wearing like the i have to keep making sure that hey see look yeah see that's what i don't want but this dress is so nice where'd you get it from uh yellow sub trading that's like an online mm. This is my friend 